sharks pose a really interesting mix of conservation challenges. Some estimates actually place the population decline of some species of shark up to about 90%. My name is Darcy Bradley and I am a PhD student at the Bren School of Environmental Science and Management at the University of California, Santa Barbara. My research is really to get to the bottom of just what does a healthy population of sharks look like and how do those populations interact with people in the absence of fishing. shark populations have declined all around the world, but we lack really important baseline information about what healthy shark populations look like. So my research is conducted at Palmyra Atoll, and Palmyra is a really special place on this planet. So it's actually located about a thousand miles south of Hawaii in the Lion Islands chain. Since 2001, there's been absolutely no commercial fishing on Palmyra. It's one of the last places on this planet that houses a healthy population of reef sharks that hasn't been fished. And as a researcher that's really exciting because it means we can study a population that isn't affected by fishing. So the population is healthy, it's in its normal pristine state. So to get this shark baseline population number, we conducted a mark recapture study. And the idea here is actually a pretty simple one. So we go to Palmyra and we catch some sharks. Once caught, we apply uniquely numbered ID tags to each individual. And we use these minimally invasive dart tags. So they're just applied to the side of each individual, and again, they have a number which allows us to uniquely identify that shark. We then go back and we catch some more sharks, and hopefully some of those are the ones that we caught originally. While we're taking data, we also record information on the sex of each animal, the size of each animal, and where we actually caught every single animal. We then come back and we use an algorithm that compares the number of sharks we captured to the number of sharks we recaptured to estimate the total population size. So we can identify hot spots of shark numbers all around Palmyra, which is really important for the managers of the island to know where in space their sharks are located. This population study started in 2006, and the field component wrapped up in 2014. And during that time, we captured 1,300 plus gray reef sharks. And we also recaptured 350 of those individuals, which makes this the largest tag recapture program in the entire world. In the end, we found that there are a lot fewer sharks than people thought. So we estimated a population size of between six to 8,000 gray reef sharks at Palmyra, which works out to a density of about 20 sharks per kilometer squared. That sounds like a lot of sharks to me, but actually previous researchers who used underwater visual survey methods estimated a density of between 200 to 1,100 sharks per square kilometer. So although it's not totally clear how those density estimates would scale up to a population estimate, it is clear they would end up a lot bigger than our estimate. We want people to know that shark populations may be smaller than we previously thought, but that may also mean that it could be possible to recover shark populations in a way that we haven't realized. So this is actually good news for conservation. Recovering shark populations may not be an insurmountable goal.